So, summer is out. It is a lovely, uh, no, June now. June ride that I'm doing here in 20 degree heat. Absolutely perfect biking weather to the point where I've even got the Ubane Pro on its own. So the weather is absolutely beautiful. Um, and that also means that the Volvo of helmets, the HJC Rafa 70, which is my normal uh, winter slash commuting helmet. I call it the Volvo of helmet because it does everything, but it is boring as fuck. I mean, there's nothing exciting about that helmet to look at. Um, it's, yeah, uh, you know, it, but it does everything really well. So it's why it is my trusted commuting helmet. Uh, but as soon as the sun is out, the Rurok Ronin Atlas is out. And that is because it is such a badass looking helmet that I know when I am wearing it, I feel badass. And it's vain, but that's reality. And that is why it's always on my head comes summer. And uh, today, obviously, is a Rurok day. The weather looks like it's going to be sunny all day, so there's no faff with visors. Um, there's no chance the temperature is going to drop too cold so the Rurok is on my head for a longer commute into work than normally the Rafa is what takes takes the the bit there Ooh, cool me down after those lights so the Rurok Atlas Ronin one year on this is the version one and I am just as happy with it today as I was when I got it. Cheers, mate. Very nice. Yeah, nice and summer. Very nice. Very cool. Thank you. And that's the thing about the Rurok Atlas Ronin. You will get a lot of people saying, I like your helmet, it's very cool. Helmet looks cool. And you know what? It is cool. Makes you feel good. Because it's so badass looking. Rurok have, uh, I think, done an absolute sterling job as, as a fledgling motorcycle helmet company. A year ago I bought this Ronin and I couldn't be happier with it. Sure there were some niggles that I pointed out in my video review and some people agree with those niggles, some people take them to a bigger extreme and it's a deal breaker for them. That's got to be the same for every product or any product really that you come up against. For me, when summer comes, this is the helmet that's always on my head. And really that speaks volumes because all of the negatives for the helmet are not enough to stop me from wearing it. So they've got to be quite minor. The thing that I love about this helmet is obviously the looks which makes me feel good. I feel badass wearing it and that feeling is what this channel is all about how all of these products that I review be it on the motorcycle or gadget or whatever how they make me feel how I react to them and it, I think it's so important and for me that is why it's right up there and people can say well how a helmet looks can't really you know if it outperform how you know how safe it is and yeah I get you if if it was a crock of shit on safety but it's not people have gone down the road a lot of people have gone down the road on these helmets now and proven that it is safe that's why it's got an ECU and a DOT safety rating on it so the other things that niggled me you know the um, visor changing system the screws um, bit pinchy putting it on um, but I quite like the tightness of it. Um, what else was there? There was uh, 
the fit nose sometimes touches against the um, the front of the helmet and they've changed that in the way with the pinchiness on the fit on the 2.0 I mean the 2.0 I'm tempted because that ghost helmet looks absolutely beautiful the ghost um, and the mercury uh, I, I want them in my collection but I've got the 1.0 how many helmets does a man need maybe seven no well, I've got four one more wouldn't hurt no 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 I'm not doing it. I'm not gonna buy one maybe I might buy it. no no Ugh. I'll tell you what if I don't buy the 2.0 I am motherfucking buying the 3.0 but that that takes us back to Rural Rock as a company so a year ago they brought out their first motorcycle helmet now they weren't novices to helmets because they've been in the snowboarding game so they know how a shell is meant to be constructed etc but it was their first time bringing out a motorcycle helmet and I think for me they got 85% of it right for my needs I mean for other people that percentage is going to be higher or lower and you know for me the field of view and the airflow through it I do not need to open my lid at all when I'm on a ride um, and the field of view is so good that I don't miss having my visor up with glasses in so I'm not getting bugs flying in and wasps and all that crap so for me I love this helmet um, you know it's it's the summer go-to and the niggles then that other people come up with the fit that where it won't fit in the majority of people the um, the visor mechanism the fogging um, I've got to say I never had fogging issue but then obviously I don't wear it in winter because um, it's too cold the noise again not a big issue for me because I came from a bell bullet as my summer helmet and this is actually quieter I would say marginally um, they they fixed all those problems or at least you know fixed all those problems for you know the majority of people and to do that in a year is is amazing that is you know talk about listening to your customers and you know responding within a year they've updated it and fixed all of those issues that people have that's that's freaking unreal and kudos to Rurok for doing it firstly for listening and secondly for actually doing it and they weren't minor changes I mean it was practically a fucking redesign without the uh, redesigning the looks um, so you know that has to be really you know up there for them and the other thing is, is you know how they respond customer service wise you know actually responding and trying to work with customers and build their base and build their brand really good I mean I'm, I'm so impressed by it I mean the fucking owner of the company Dan has set up a Facebook group where you can just talk to him directly I mean how how proactive do you need to be I mean that that's just unreal that you can talk to the owner of the company and say you know and the problem he's got by doing that is obviously then he's got all the fucking snowflakes oh well I've got a little scratch on it when it came through the post you know fucking go ride it down the road you'll get a scratch on it when a stone flies up I mean fuck it hell some of the shit that goes on on that forum I mean the one thing is a lot of people you know that and this happened with the 1.0 is obviously they they do their marketing they get such a, a following and an order you know and, and being a small company you know they're gonna have to edge their bets for how much they order and where they're shipping it from etc and obviously then they can't deliver the amount that's needed or you know the amount that's needed are gonna be um, uh, what's it called um, not out quick enough so obviously at the moment loads of people are moaning that they've ordered you know the uh, the 2.0 and it hasn't arrived um, and I think that was mainly because of corona um, and getting the helmets back because the carbon fiber weave is made in Italy and then it's assembled in China and then it's brought back to the UK um, so because of you know international shipping some things have been delayed and fuck me are they moaning I mean but I get it 
if you order something and it takes three months to arrive, fair enough, you know, but I think in this case, it wasn't really Rurock's oversight that has done this. Um, it's more, um, oh, come on, come on. Fuck you now, how long do I have to wait? Yeah, you're fucking way. So it wasn't so much, you know, down to Rurock fault being there. I think that was more the situation. But at the same time, you know, Dan, the CEO, is still responding to these people, saying that's out of my control. You know, like custom taxes that coming in um, that people weren't aware of highlighting all things like that so you know really proactive really you know good customer service I would say you can't please all the people all the time no one can no product can um, so I think at the end of the day my user experience with Rurock has been really good I got my helmet quick my 1.0 and I remember there were people waiting at the time you know and they pre-ordered and the helmet went back and got redesigned and some other crap um, but mine came quick I'm really happy with it I mean you know if I was anal enough to check all the dimensions and check this and check that I'm sure I could probably find a line out of place or a scratch or something but like I say you know just fucking go down the road at 70 miles an hour and have a stone fly up in your face and you will soon uh, have scratches all over it, bugs splattering all over the place. So uh, the odd little nick here and there is hardly uh, anything to, you know, crucify them on. I think their shockwave has not been as good as people would like compared to like a Cena. Um, I haven't got it myself personally. I try and shy away from comms in my helmet. I don't want people getting hold of me. But. The concept of having it at the back is really good. I mean, me on this vlogging, check out my cheap and dirty vlog setup and you'll see that where the shockwave actually goes is where when I'm not recording audio that's plugged into my iPhone, I just tuck the um, iPhone cable in that um, section there, which is quite nice. It's hidden, it's out of the way. Um, so yeah, that's a nice little slot to go hide in it. But yeah, Rurock, um, I think in one year from bringing out a helmet that is, you know, obviously it's, it's not quite a showy, it's not been going as long, you know, it's, um, but they, 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 they're close, they're fucking close and they're 2.0, I haven't got my hands on it, but I would say that's even closer and probably by the time they get to revision 5, I would say they're probably going to beat them. They're probably going to have more of that knowledge and comfort and, you know, all of the things that some of the other helmets get. And, and this is something to bear in mind, you know, I'm saying they're not quite there on the showy. Um, I'm talking about, you know, 500 quid showy, not, you know, a sort of, well, do they do entry level one, you know, like a 200 quid five year old one or something, you know what I mean? It's you got to put it in perspective. So, here's an example. I've been sat at these lights for a little while and my lid, visor lid, has remained closed. Don't get me wrong, if I was there another couple of minutes more I might pop it open. But now on the go again, air flows through nice and cool. So, Keep your visor shut. I've got the red mirror iridium visor, whatever it is, which makes me look really ninja-esque. If I open it, you just see my face and no one wants to see that. This dead cat is tickling my chin. 